It's Brian Kirst from Big A Horror Fan interviewing Stephen Jeffries for Chateau Gur at the first and hopefully annual Sci Fan Convention here in Chicago. Mr. Jeffries is well known for Fright Night and 976 Evil and uh, some brilliant episodes of Twilight Zone and amazing stories on television. But there's so much more to his career than that. Um, you began on the stage. What is that like to transition from a really solid theater career where you were Tony nominated um, to film? You know, on stage, you really can't fake it. You know, I mean, it's just you there for two hours um, on stage and... Um, you know, there, there's really no safety net, so. And that, that, that helps a lot with your uh, overall discipline. And, um, you know, I, I, when I transferred from stage to doing my first movie, uh, which was Heaven Help Us, I don't know, I, 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 the logistics are obviously a lot different, but it, it's pretty logical. I mean, you know, you, you, you don't have to project, you know, to, uh, 1200 people you know it's just you right there in that moment and even on the last movie I did I still have directors telling me to bring it down because <laughs> there is a tendency to uh, project but uh but that that's you know that's no problem you have talked about those fans coming up and go hey do evil ed and you're like oh come on give me a break have you found a piece with that that role? Yeah, I, yeah. I, I I didn't like saying that line even when we were filming, and it it just was irritating. And but uh, of course, you know, Tom insisted, and he knew best. And I, you know, I I defaulted to uh, his judgment, and it worked. And uh, you know, obviously, he knew knew what he was doing because it all it worked out. You know, and turned out to be a a, a great film. Was your reaction? Uh the same way for At Close Range, which was another popular film in that era. And you it, it was identical. I mean, it, it was a really, really well-written uh, screenplay. Um, Nick Kazan actually wrote it. It was it was kind of slick, you know, the way uh, Jamie directed it. But, uh, but just a really, really solid script. Did you find, going back to the horror genre, that the Hode role in, in 976 Evil, did you see a lot of parallels between him and Evil Ed? Was that something that stuck in your head? Or did you approach it as just a totally different character or different experience? That part of the process is in the hands of the special effects people and the lighting. You know, my, my part is to look at the soul of the character. And, and those two characters were just totally, completely different, regardless of whether it's a horror movie or a drama or a comedy or a little of, of all three. Um, so yeah, it it yeah you, you you would think on the surface that you know they're both horror movies. So but it's it's just uh, I mean it's not the way I uh, approach a part. You know I I, I look for um, you know the the hum, hum, humanity in that character and uh, and those uh, two particular humans were very different. Did you feel that you were typecast? It, that never was an issue. I, 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 I don't, people make kind of a, a big deal out of being type. I mean, the bottom line, work is work. You can call it whatever you want. You did a lot of fantasy sci-fi television, which I'm sure people are very interested in. And I don't know if you've talked a lot about the work on The Twilight Zone and The Amazing Stories. Can, can you speak a little about the experience of... When I did The Amazing Stories, you know, it had that kind of outer space thing to it. And... I think it, it's kind of fun, you know, to, to, you know, walk on a set that's a spaceship, you know, and, it, and it's, it's, it is, it's, it's, it's a blast. I mean, it's like you're, you know, getting paid to be in this, you know, amusement park type thing, and, and it's, and acting is pretty much playing anyway, so when, when the uh, accoutrement are, are that, you know, flashy and bright or bloody or whatever. It, it makes it a lot funner. I mean, I, I remember like doing Fright Night. It, it was a little, you know, weird doing a movie about vampires. And, you know, I'd, I'd been accustomed to doing, you know, Shakespeare. And it, it's, uh, it makes it more playful in, in a way. You've done comedy. You've done drama. You've done horror. Do you approach each genre differently? Well, yeah, you do because it's built into the script. I mean, if it is a, a drama or just 
like a slice of life movie. You you consider that when you're working on it, and um, it's just one of the elements that go into a preparation for for that particular part, you know. Um, and and there there are subtle differences, and um, and I've been lucky enough to have uh, been able to work on scripts that it's pretty much all there, you know. You just memorize the lines and show up. How do you find you approach material now that's different? than when you first approach it? Yeah, it, it's basically the same. I mean, if I get a script and I read it and, you know, it, it either kind of clicks with you or it doesn't, you know, and if it doesn't look like it's something that I can relate to and connect with, then, I mean, it, it just, uh, it, it doesn't work. I mean, there, there's really no reason to, uh, for, for me to, uh, to do it. You've worked with so many amazing people, you know, Christopher Walken, Tom from Fright Night, Sandy Dennis, who is amazing in 9, 7, 6, and Evil. Um, what was the thing that you think you gleaned from these people that helped you the most? It's almost indescribable. I mean, seeing the, and, and every, every actor, period, is so individually just unique and different in, in how they do what they do. I mean, for every single actor, there's a different technique. And, you know, uh, it, and it's fascinating to see the differences. I mean, Roddy McDowell was just pretty much the consummate pro. I mean, just so, you know, on time and, you know, polite and professional and talented and giving and sharing and... Um, you know, he was really there for you, you know, on the set and in the scenes. And Sandy was, uh, she was just, she had this craziness to her, which is, she was really, really sweet. You have done a lot of fantastical stuff on film and on television, as you've said. Is there one thing that stands out in your head as being the most bizarre or unique or, or fun uh, out of all the films that you've done? The most fun... Uh I had really well. I think it was my first movie, Heaven Help Us. That was, it just it was it was just so magical. You know, it was the first time, and and I I had no idea what to expect. You know, and, and everything was new, and it was all of this you know discovery and uh, and and the the director Michael Dinner was uh, was awesome. You're doing a lot of more work lately, and you've been in Sick Girl and New Terminal Hotel. Um, what attracted you to those roles? What was the fun in those roles for you? Um, well, New Terminal Hotel, I played, uh, I mean, I, it was the first lead part that I was basically in the entire movie. Um, and that that's uh, different. And you're amazing, by the way. Very detailed, very believable, uh, a really committed job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I loved the script. Um, you know, I think B.C. Furtney had, had a great idea when he wrote it. And, uh, I mean, to be able to film something in 16, 17 days or whatever is, I, I cannot imagine, you know, ha having uh, that task. And, and he did it. He pulled it off. And, uh, yeah, I'm really proud of it. As you should be. People should check it out. New Terminal Hotel with Tiffany Shepis and the amazing Stephen Jeffries. What are you looking forward to in the future? You know, connecting with these great, uh, you know, characters that I can have fun with, and um, and if if I come across one, uh, then um, I'll do whatever I can to uh, to to get it. And um, <laughs> not it, not like whatever. I'm not, I wouldn't like, you know, Kill hurt hurt somebody yeah. to get a part, but. But uh, but yeah, I, I just it it's just it, it's what I love to do. I've done uh, like three uh, little indies this past year that are that are about to come out, and um, one is called Emerging Past, and then I did one called Mr. Hush, and uh, just filmed one a couple weeks ago uh, called Bite Marks. <laughs> do you have any left? 
No, no uh, they, they uh, just magically vanished. You know, the business is just so tough and uh, soul draining. How, how do you deal with that aspect of it? The, the, the day to day grind of being in a business that you're in the public eye, you know, it, it's you, you, you work one moment and the next no one wants you. How, how do you deal with that? Uh, well, uh, therapy and um, <laughs> it is the nature of the business. Just, you know, it doesn't lend itself to being something where it's structured nine to five type thing. And, and you have to uh, have something else going on that's going to get you through those periods where you're not working. You've talked about these scripts that you have received. Do you write on your own at all? Is that something you're interested in doing? Some uh, rumor got spread around that, that I was uh, this writer. Um, I don't know. May maybe uh, at one time after I'd had a few drinks, I might have <laughs> let that out. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it was uh, – I misspoke if I did say that. What would your advice be to someone who wants to go at, into business and to do it? If it's what you want to do, then, uh, you know – yeah, yeah, yeah and, and, and never really uh, forget the reason why you are doing it. And, um, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's not uh, rocket science, you know. It's, you know, it, it's fun, and if, if it wasn't, then I wouldn't do it. So, uh, yeah, just go for it. And how do people get in touch with you? Or, or if they want to find out about what's going on with your life? you know, with your non-writing activities? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I have a website. It's uh, stephenjeffries.com, and um, it's, got a, it's got a message board. You can uh, write me anything you want. <laughs> so, and uh, so, yeah. That might be opening up a can of worms, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a few worms here and there. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, it's been a slice of life talking with you, and obviously you've put more into your performances than just showing up because your work is really amazing and seminal, and obviously Evil Ed and your other characters live on for everyone. So uh, thank you so much. This is Brian Kurse for Chateau Gur from The Gay Horror Fan and the amazing Stephen Jeffries. Thank you very much. <laughs>